I share the pros and cons of fluoride in your drinking water so you can choose what's best for your family. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, there's a huge controversy going on right now about whether communities should be adding fluoride to the water, whether they should be stopping to add fluoride to the water. Some communities have already stopped, some have stopped and started again. But really, what's this controversy all about anyway? You need to know the pros and cons of fluoride in your drinking water and how it affects your family's health and what you can do about it. And most of all, what can happen if you don't. Fluoride is a natural occurring mineral that's found in food and water and is used in industrial and medicinal applications. Fluoride has been added to municipal water supplies since the 1940s as a public measure to help prevent tooth decay. This practice has been endorsed by many health organizations, including the World Health Organization and the American Dental Association, who are promoting it as a safe and healthy way to prevent tooth decay. Fluoride is typically added to water at the rate of about 1.2 parts per million. Now, naturally occurring water can have different amounts of fluoride too. Some as low as a couple parts per million and some as high as even 100 parts per million of fluoride. It's important to note that not all communities fluoridate their water. In fact, a number of communities have stopped fluoridating their water because of health risks and about the cost. Other uh, communities have never fluoridated their water. So is water your only source of fluoride in your body? No, and what you're soon going to learn, that's part of the problem. So what's the controversy anyway? According to the American Dental Association, fluoride is proven to reduce tooth decay in 20 to 40 percent, and it promotes improved oral health. When fluoride is present in the mouth, it helps to strengthen the tooth enamel, which prevents it from being attacked by bacteria and leads to tooth decay. They say that's a relatively safe and low cost way of improving the overall dental care in your community. It's gonna be generally less expensive than other methods of fluoride delivery, like um, using fluoride supplements or going to the dentist's office and having fluoride uh, applied directly to the teeth. But studies have suggested that long-term exposure to fluoride can create other health concerns, such as increased risk of bone fractures and reduced kidney function. Some side effects of consuming fluoride would be skeletal weakness. Your joints become weak and there's increased risk of bone fractures. Skeletal fluorosis, which is the staining and pitting of children's teeth. Cognitive impairment. Higher levels of fluoride have been linked to lower IQ scores, thyroid problems, and reproductive issues like lower fertility in women. And there's always a concern about acute toxicity since fluoride is a poison in large quantities and it's been linked to high blood pressure and acne. So a lot of these health problems tend to occur when there's too much fluoride in the body, which is why recently the fluoride levels have been suggested to be lowered from 1.2 parts per million down to 0.7 parts per million. In fact, further evidence suggests that even getting levels down to 0.5 parts per million would be optimal for most communities. So when it comes to babies and very small children, it's optimal to either breastfeed them or to make up formula using water that has no fluoride in it whatsoever to protect them from skeletal fluorosis. And children below the age of six should definitely not use any mouthwash that contains fluoride and parents should be careful that the children don't swallow any of that toothpaste that has fluoride in it. The level of fluoride in mother's milk is intentionally very, very low. In fact, it's 0.004 parts per million. This means that a bottle fed baby that's been consuming formula that's been made with water that's got fluoride in it can be consuming up to 300 times as much fluoride as a breastfed baby. And for these babies, there's absolutely no benefit for having that fluoride in their water. There's only the risk of skeletal fluorosis. So then there's the ethical argument of adding fluoride to everyone's drinking water without their specific consent, which is a violation of personal autonomy and choice. Individuals should have the right to decide whether they choose to have their families ingest fluoride or not. Back in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, the only way of getting fluoride into your body was from your water. Now sources include food and beverage processing, fluoridated dental products, mechanically deboned meat, tea, and pesticide residues from food processing. Keep in mind that healthy adult kidneys only excrete 50 to 60% of the fluoride taken into our bodies each day. The remainder accumulates in our bodies, largely in calcifying tissues like bones and the pineal gland. Infants and children excrete less from their kidneys and therefore take 80% of that fluoride into their bones. This fluoride concentration in our bones steadily increases over our lifetime. 
The Centers for Disease Control Prevention has now acknowledged that the main benefit of fluoride is topographical on our teeth, not what's ingested. Therefore, it makes more sense to deliver that fluoride directly to your teeth by having it in your toothpaste. Since swallowing fluoride is unnecessary and potentially dangerous, there's no justification for forcing people to adjust fluoride through their water supply. Does your community add fluoride to your water? How do you know? Just phone them up and ask them. If they do, how do you get rid of that fluoride from your drinking water for your family? A reverse osmosis drinking water system is the best way to get rid of fluoride in your water. And if you're looking for more information about reverse osmosis drinking water systems, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. This video shows you how a reverse osmosis drinking water system will get rid of the fluoride and a whole lot of other contaminants from your drinking water. Click this link and I'll see you there.